UI UX design is about designing interfaces and uh, interactions for customers who use Safaricom applications and products. Machine learning entails using um, data to make predictions without ideally a programmer coding it out. The IoT department seeks to provide solutions to, to clients or customers whereby what we intend to do is provide uh, solutions that make work easier for our customers by connecting non-smart devices smart so that you're able to perhaps control your fridge using your mobile phone at the comfort of your seat. It's exciting and I also feel like uh, me being here, I'll be able to grow more. It's a balance between being excited and a bit nervous. Excited because Safaricom has been around almost all my life. Ever since I was a young kid, I could hear about Safaricom. And I'm excited to be a part of the Safaricom family, being a part of the culture and being a part of what it means to be a part of Safaricom and delivering to Safaricom customers. The nervousness comes from I'd say the interview process and also given that it's a fast-paced environment and you are expected to deliver and do your best at all times. Being at Safaricom makes me excited, being that Safaricom has uh, often been ranked to, as being the best employer in Kenya. This environment is different from the receptionist to anywhere, everyone is warm, you'll just be welcomed very well and then uh, the working environment is very nice, you know, there's peace, I feel like it's one of the best environments to work in here. In school, I did information science. It's more about working with data. So in one way or another, what I did in school has contributed to what I'm, I'm working on right now. UX, UI design, you need to work with data from the market so that you can be able to know like how to design products and services depending on what the users expect and need. In uni, I specialized in computer technology. So computer technology is a blend of computer science and a bit of electrical engineering. So being an IoT specialist, I'd say I'm well pleased to deliver in the IoT space. I'd say the interview experience was a bit intense, but all through the interview process, you get to learn a lot about yourself. You get to know who you are, you get to know what you want in this life and you get to appreciate the fact that Safaricom as a company is well situated and is well placed to offer you what you want to do in your in life and in your skill area. It's the third round of a five hour interview of which I was wondering, oh my God, what should I be saying for five hours? I did three interviews within the five hours and most interviewers were very, very friendly. Throughout the process, I got to learn a lot about, the, about my skill area and also about myself. Uh, because throughout the interview you get to be asked a lot of questions that uh, make you realize more about your skill set and what, you, you, what the program also and the company expects you to be doing. I expect to number one learn with the best, number two work with the best and uh, number three do the best for Safaricom customers. I expect more growth uh, more learning, more fun, uh, and just being part of the community. I look forward to improving on the skills that I learned in school and do my best in becoming a better IoT specialist. I would want to be part of the team that is uh, promoting the transition from telecommunication to technology by being able to offer te te uh, technolo technology solutions. As the motto of Safaricom is, you know, transforming lives. So I feel like after 24, mo 24 months, I want to feel like, you know, my life has been transformed. Me being here, it shows that it's possible. It's possible for all of us to get into Safaricom. You just have to do your best given the chance. And to Safaricom, I can say thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. And thank you for giving me a chance to prove both to Safaricom, to the Safaricom customer, and to myself that I'm capable of doing what is entrusted to me to do.